Ladies and gentlemen, you may now continue using your electronic devices in flight mode only. Safety instructions like these could soon be a thing of the past for us. The European Commission has ruled that airlines can provide 5G during flights in the future and other countries could follow soon. But is this safe? Do we even want that? And is this the end of the airplane mode? While it's still unclear how onboard 5G services will be implemented, there's already a deadline. By June the 30th, 2023, EU member states should make 5G frequency bands available for the purpose. According to the plans, people traveling in the EU will be able to use all their phone's features mid-flight, including calls as well as data-heavy services like streaming music and videos. But aren't the frequencies mobile devices are operating with dangerous for a plane's systems and could possibly make them crash? Well, from the early 90s on, when laptops and mobile phones became more commonplace, airlines worldwide preferred to play it safe. Officials and scientists were worried that radio signals emitted from mobile devices could interfere with crucial flight technology. For example, aircraft communications, flight control and navigational equipment. But more importantly, ground networks needed for landing. But until today, even though theoretically mobile devices could be a threat, there's no scientific evidence that they have caused major problems for airlines. And by design, they shouldn't. The available bandwidth spectrum for mobile communication is divided into different chunks for different uses. So, a cell phone call should not interfere with the bands reserved for aircraft communications or GPS navigation systems. Still, when in early 2022 5G was rolled out in the US on the ground on a big scale, several international airlines cancelled flights to the US as a precautionary measure. Yet, until now, there have been no incidents reported related to the new standard. And by the way, a 2017 survey found that about 40% of passengers said they left their cell service on while flying. What about you? Onboard Wi-Fi services have been around since 2008 already, but they were very expensive and painstakingly slow. Now, European airlines will use special network equipment to route calls, texts and data through a satellite network that connects the airplane to the ground-based mobile network. This will be much faster. Optimistic estimates assume a speed of over 100 megabit per second. But I, for one, did not really miss internet connectivity on planes so far. For me, flights were precious and rare moments when I would not be available and I really wouldn't appreciate my seat neighbor being engaged in a heated discussion on the phone mid-flight. So could the EU's decision mean that smartphones won't have an airplane mode in the future anymore? I certainly hope not. While it is the easiest way to disconnect, for example during the night, it also has some other advantages. Airplane mode is a very efficient battery saver, for example. Wireless communication is by far consuming the most energy in mobile devices. In case you're running out of juice, it might be clever to switch to airplane mode. Are you looking forward to calling your friends from a plane? And in which situations apart from flying do you use airplane mode? Let us know.